had a bit of time to re- reflect um, before I did this voiceover on, you know, working my dogs this morning. Um, you know, it's sort of taken me back 25 years to, to the enjoyment I used to get when I worked cutting horses. Um, you know, I used to have to ride a lot of other horses just for the chance to work a few cutting horses and you know I guess nothing stays the same and then basically it become a business and then it become money driven and you know become more of a production line you know manufacturing business and um, you know this reminds me of how I started out and the enjoyment I got watching these animals work and uh, seeing what they had to bring to the table rather than what I had to bring to the table. The money in horses now is great, but, you know, people need to realise nothing's free. You know, you pay for it and, um, you know, you can work hard chasing your tail, chasing money all the time, and what are you going to do with it at the end, you know? But somebody asked me whether I'd sell this bitch and... um, She gives me a lot of pleasure working her. And I said, well, what would I do with the money? I'd go looking for another dog like this. Um, So I guess I'm lucky I'm in a position where, you know, we've come through the the good times and, um, you know, I can maybe slow down now and and, uh, go back to figuring out what I really like. This bitch is showing some good balance and... uh, Jeff Gibson said to me uh, a couple of times, I'd work one sheep with this dog, I'd work one sheep with this dog. And um, it's amazing the development that's come along in this bitch just doing this, uh, created the thought process, she's understanding a job a lot more. A couple of my other dogs are still fairly mechanical. They're controlling the the sheep, but there's still a lot of me in it. And, you know, it's probably not 100% their fault. I've, they're a bit older and they've been established and set in their ways a little bit. probably make some adjustments with how I start pups you know I won't go right away from my my basic program but you know you you can always improve it and um, you start breaking a lot of dogs for people and same old thing you'll get into a production line mentality um, rather than you know customizing the dogs so I need to be careful of that